the cutting it. Okay. And, uh, so this is the preparation here. Yeah. Which is the, the preparation of all the, the furnitures and all the, the linings. Yes? Started there. If you want, you can yeah, sure. go again. Yeah, I'll just follow you. Yes? Yeah. This is the starting of the process of uh, blocking the fabrics with the cutting machine. So the lady pulls the fabric and then she takes the pattern. And then the machine is gonna cut it out automatically. And then she's gonna do the second one and the third one. Sides of the cap. Okay. And in the meantime, the lady is going to prepare all the interlinings. All the what, Paul? The interlinings. I mean, uh, time, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or for winter, it's a polar uh, lining. For summer, it's. Uh, it's another lining, and you see here what we call jute and some flannel is between the lining and the fabric and this makes the cap really soft and smoothly. So she's doing this preparation and after that the, the stitches can start stitching the caps. This is made every day. One week in ahead, she's preparing all the work who is coming through for the week after. And all this is here. Oops, Oops. Sorry. Yeah. All this is together here. And the girls who start the day, they take this part. Client number, client, everything is on it. And they take all the things that needs to be together, the visors. This is the preparation. Okay, thank you. Yep. Here we have the the stitching department. So here you see the girls taking the outside fabric and making the one part. This little thing in uh, how do you call it? In carton, it's kind of a Texan, is to make that the cap is at the right measure. You see also in the cap there is the a little label of the measurements. 57, 58. So as you see here. When you turn the cap inside outside, you have already the basic of the cap. You put a visor on it, you put a lining in it, and you have a cap. Here, if you don't do something with it, it stays open. Therefore, there is a machine, a kind of a heating machine, who makes that these two parts are are not are nicely flat. We will see that now. You cannot do it with leather, but with cashmere or loden cloth, it's very easy to to make that uh, these parts are flat. Otherwise, you will have problems when you make the cap. that 
all the nice cap, all the nice caps. They have a, a special special stitching with a double needle machine. So you see the cap already in in a better form. So this is after when it's coming back from this machine. So you see the stitchings here, the double stitchings. In the meantime, you have to try to... It's not possible. We go to the people who make the linings. Yeah, and after the linings, they put the visor on the cap and then the lining in the cap. So we go there. First, yeah, first they make the visors. Yeah. We try to go in. First they make the visors and then they put the visors on the cap. So we just try to see how they make the visors with Texan. This is kind of material. So they take the, the upper and the lower part of the fabric. This is Texan, this kind of plastic which you can which you can roll, it cannot break. And in the past we used uh, other material, but cardboard sometime I remember in the early days in the hat business. That you could actually find cardboard, you know, a yeah. paper product. Yeah. 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 But that's no longer being used. No. This is a kind of plastic. They put some little parts here at the end. If you don't do that. You have the risk that uh, the part of the peak goes through the fabric, especially when the for Harris for Donald Wheats, it's more an open woven fabric. Also, why you risk that you hit, you see that you have here little points, which is not nice. If you sh show that again, Paul, if you would yeah. please. Just so, make your point. Yeah. Yeah. So the risk of, if you don't put these little little fabrics on the ends of the peak, that the peak comes through the fabric. Right. Especially when the fabric is woven a little bit more open. Right. So would you say that's a difference between a well-made cap and a that's, poorly made cap? That's the difference that, between that a nice cap and a, issue. And, yeah. and a Chinese cap or another cap which is not made of. A, so this is a, it's not easy work, yes. Yeah, I can see there, it's very uh, labor intensive. After that, you stitch the visor to the, to to the, the, cr to the crown. Yeah. To the crown of the cap. Yeah. So you can see that it's the other lady who's doing that. Right. So, so we go from the making of the bill to the sewing of the bill onto yes. the cap. So, in the meantime, in the meantime, somebody make the lining. So you have all the the basics that we saw in the beginning, now they're gonna make separate the lining. And this is the result. Yeah. You have the satin, you have the label of the client, and you have the uh, yeah, the other soft Helen, lining. Helen, I think we call that. It's uh, kind of a vrizzling. They put a measure, a measure uh, thing on it. Here you must have the right size now from the cap. See? We have the label, we have the size, we have the composition, so we have the lining of the cap.
after that, you have to combine the two parts, the lining, mm -hmm. and then we just go back there. You have the lining and you have the outside of the cap that we saw and now we're going to put the two parts together and then this is the result it's a cap which is not blocked but you have already the form of the cap you have the lining in the cap Next step is the blocking. Next yeah? step is the blocking. It's a pity. It's a pity they were today on the, the blocking machine, so uh, it's not working. It's a pity. Okay. But we can explain it. Yeah, explain system. it. Everything is blocked on wooden blocks. You put the cap on the block, and it's a. Uh, how do they call it? Somebody keeps knitting breads. Kneading. It's like the baker who puts the uh, the caps in the in the oven. Yeah. Till you have a certain degree. And that's uh, this machine right this here. This is this machine that we made. There are two machines. Two girls can block the caps in uh, in the same time. And in the time that one cap is in the in the oven, uh, the other cap is uh, is is just refreshing with a, with kind of uh, uh, colder uh, colder steam. So the caps are black blocked one unit at a time. One unit at a time. Yeah. Wow! And but how long does it take for it to bake? Uh, let us say uh, one minute. But when the cap is uh, in the oven. The other one is just uh, is ready, here, ready. Is ready, so they can work on the whole time. Right, right. One is in the oven. The other one is is uh, refreshing. The third one they're taking off, so they can go on the whole time. They don't lose time. Yeah. Uh, they don't lose one second. Yeah. This is the cap on the block. See. Yeah. It's the best system. We know yeah. other systems from Italy and so on, but this is still the best. System. Yeah. We let the blocks make in uh, Holland. There are some small manufacturers who make uh, who make the blocks, huh. and uh, it's very precise work. We used to make the blocks ourselves a long time ago. We were buying we were buying the the wood then and let it dry. But this is something that uh, you really must be a specialist. And there are some specialists in Europe, people who really make blocks for female. Uh, models and uh, men's models. So, uh, huh. And it's good to. Uh, so, did good you need a new block to develop that number nine black yes. cap we talked about? Yes. So, yes. who made that for you? Um, we were buying a lot of caps to have the idea. Then we made some tests and some tests. And then we started with that model. We, we sent the model to Holland. And from this model, they made a block. And we got the block back. And then we. We improved the block till really it was the block that we needed. Because this is more a narrow shape. You can make all the caps you want, but if you don't have the right block, you don't have a nice cap. And this is sometimes a bit, yeah, okay, it's an investment, but it's very important to have the right block for the right shape. Not every cap you can block on every shape. So, yeah, this is the way it is. After that, you have already a better cap. It is not 100% ready, but uh, it's blocked. It has a shape, it has a form. Now you need the, the stitches in the cap. Yeah. Three stitches. Or the, the popper. This is a cap with, um, with an eel flap. Mm -hmm. We sell. Yeah, this could be an idea also. We have some models with. Uh, would you have You see, sometimes we have a lot of clients who have their 
they take the city sport brand that uh, like Chapel de Rivaise in Lyon. Mm -hmm. They have their address in the cab, which is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. And for the customer and for the, for the shop. So yeah. we, have, we can do that, we have a machine for that. Yeah. So we can individually print uh, the name of the customer in the cab. Yeah, we need to discuss that And this that is also area. an idea yeah. for you to... Uh, yeah. So we can have the city sports brand, yeah. but or especially made for yeah. where it's possible. Right. So here we have the lady who is doing the, the stitches. Or the snaps. Or, or the, the snaps or uh, whatever. Right. It's very precise work. You have to take care of your fingers. <laughs> no, really. Yeah, but, I'm uh, sure. And this is very important. If if the snap or the snitch is too is not placed well, you have you have a bad cap really. If it's too much in front, it's not good. If it's too much in the back, it's not good. It's important for the fit of the cap really. This must be. You see here also detail. I think here this is running true. That uh, that check is running true. A lot of caps don't have the same. You see. This line is running true here. So, so you've got to make sure you cut the fabric yes, at the right. cutting stage yes, that so that true. it ends up yeah. at the right spot you at the finishing stage. At all the caps, this line is going true. Let, so me, let me get close on that line. You see? Yeah. This is going true on the visor. Right to the right there to the middle. There are not a lot of manufacturers who are doing who are doing this. And you can check all the all the caps. This will go through. You will see it there also. Huh. I'm glad you pointed that out. Yeah. yeah. Interesting detail. Yeah. So here we have the snaps and the stitches. So uh, now the cap is ready. You have to put all the little labels on it. Uh -huh. Reference the little card. Try to stay vintage, and we had some old little um, color cards, some little pictures. We have a lot of them. Yeah, look. We have 14, 15 different ones. You see here, old picture from the past. How old is the company? Uh, the company is uh, from 1898. So wow. this is already third, the third millennium. It's uh, yeah, the fourth generation, third millennium. So we put all these little um, pictures together with the reference on the cap. After this, you have already. Uh, we're going to the end process now. As a girl rolling the yeah. um, the paper for in the cap. So Tom, now, what are they doing here? Yeah. Here we are at the ends. They're steaming the cap. Sorry. So we have the label on the cap. They were, they're putting the little threads on. They They've already it. got the paper in, huh? So who, yes. where was the paper put in? The paper is put in after after that. Yeah. The girl who is normally there is putting the paper in. I see. And here they're refreshing. Uh, they roll the peaks if necessary. Huh? Yeah. So they have a, a nice modern shape. They're pulling the treads off. It's the end control. This is for a client in, uh, in London. Uh -huh. That you all know. <laughs> and... Um, 
from here on the cap should be really ready. Goes to the other for you room. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, yeah. And, but really, here after it's it's the, the cap must be. There is sometimes a control of the address, uh, control of the right fabric, control of the size, uh, control of the little threads, control of everything. And we go here. Thank you. Here's a part of the, the stocking. Normally here, she's not here. The lady takes the caps with a pin, with a label, with everything in it. And she's gonna put it in uh, carton boxes. She does a kind of quality control also, and make sure. No, 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 no. It's already done. No, it's done. She yeah. looks at her papers for a client uh, uh -huh. in Germany, the Hutladen. Yeah. She looks at the papers that she received that she received from the administration. Uh -huh. And she takes the caps and uh, she puts it in boxes. Uh -huh. And she sends it straight away or she puts it already in, in the stock house, waiting for the, the right dates that the uh, caps have to leave. Yeah. And you see, it's a it's a big variety from uh, flat cap, flat caps, peak caps, baseball caps. So, uh, after this, the caps are ready to to leave the company to the clients, and where they are sold. And so the, the cyclist starts again, fabric's coming in, just till the end. <laughs>